I want to see what it is as bad as you do. That's some serious, serious swagger right there. Hi, this is Subble1975, and today I'm bringing you a TDM. Well, most of a TDM. We joined this one late. Here it was me and Swaggy, who is Zynox Jumad. I think it's still his game attack. He changes it so often, I can't keep track of these kids changing their game attacks on me. But he's a nice lad. He's a good laugh to play with. And it kind of annoys him, I think, slightly that a 40 year old can keep pace with him. You know, these young kids, they should be so much better than me at this game. But, I don't know, I'm still able to at 40 keep up with them occasionally. What can I say? It's quite satisfying in a way, holding back the years and battling these aging reflexes. But anyway, I digress. So what I'm bringing you is most of a TDM, like I say, we joined late. It was a fun game, it was in progress. Uh, I thought I'd use it as background for this. And it's just a quick video, really. At the start, you'll see me opening one common supply drop. I haven't recorded that bit of footage yet, that's so why I have no idea what I'm going to get in my amazing supply drop, but I'm certainly not wasting any money on them. There is no way I'm spending cash on cosmetic items for my character. Look, who wants to play Dolly Dress Up? We had enough of this in Advanced Warfare. In the Advanced Warfare supply drops you could get variant weapons, which was super annoying because basically you know, it was nearly pay to win. because. If you didn't have an Obsidian Steed, you had a major disadvantage, especially in ranked play. I didn't like the idea of variants in the first place. I thought it disbalanced the game, and I didn't like. I don't like disbalanced gunfights. I don't like the fact you lose a gunfight to somebody because they've got a better variant of the weapon than you have. It's kind of stupid. At least in Black Ops 3, they're only doing cosmetic items, but even then, it's still a bit shit, really. Microtransactions, milking a AAA title is just cheap and wrong, to be honest. It's, I mean, I don't mind it. Paying for camos in Black Ops 2, I didn't mind. Because I got what I paid for. If I paid for a camo, I got a camo. You know, I saw the camos on offer, I picked one and went, you know what, I want that camo, I'll buy it. This is a random drop, a random gambling pack which is the way hideous collectible games are sold and it's a really cheap and nasty horrible way to sell things to people because they don't know what they're buying and they could end up with a load of shit and they could waste tons and tons of money to try and get the one item they really really want in this case a lot of people are spending a ridiculous sum of money to get some of the flick knives because they see their millionaire youtuber buddies have the really stylish flick knife. Yeah, I saw Pomage with it as well. It did look cool. But I'm not going to waste my money trying to get it. If I get it through luck, fine, I'll get it. But there's no way I'm spending money to gamble on getting a knife. Oh, I get totally ruined here, literally. Um, but I'm not going to gamble money, pay money, to see if I can get a flick knife or a wrench or whatever, one of these melee weapons for my character. Yes, it looks quite cool. I'll grant you. But it ain't worth it. It really isn't. And as for Activision, I mean, they've got enough money. They just spent an absolute fortune buying it and paying out the makers of Candy Crush. They spent more money buying Candy Crush than Disney spent buying Star Wars. I mean, holy fuck, they've got some money to waste. I mean, no wonder they're putting supply drops in. They paid more than Star Wars for Candy Crush. I know George Lucas sold Star Wars for less than it was worth, but the creators of Candy Crush cost more than Star Wars. Are you kidding me? Someone saw Activision coming. And they're using these microtransactions from Call of Duty to pay for it, I tell you. Because they will probably make as much money as Star Wars from these damn microtransactions. People are just idiots for this thing. Advanced Warfare was probably one of the most profitable Call of Duties in years, and it was shit. But, you know, two months after they released the chargeable supply drops, every other guy I ran into on that game had a cowboy hat. I mean, serious amounts of money were dropped on those supply drops. Serious amounts of money. 
and it's all an utter waste. But hey ho, don't listen to me giving you sensible consumer advice. Don't waste your money, it's just cosmetic items you can do without them. You're going to buy them anyway. So why I'm wasting my breath. But that's all for this video, and thank you very much for watching. It wasn't a bad score considering we joined late.